everyone so today I have a uh, unboxing for you slash with it Wednesday I really don't have anything to show this Wednesday um, mainly because I just got back from visiting my parents for the last month so I'm gonna work on a whole lot I made a baby hat or two I think but other than that I really didn't make much um, what's on the needles. I don't have anything on the needles. I am going to start crocheting birthday gifts for my siblings, my younger siblings. Their birthday's a day apart. Um, or two years and a day apart, actually. So, you know, I, I need to start making their baby gift or baby gifts, their birthday gifts very soon. They're very much into Minecraft. So, I will show you that as I do that. Um, so this is going to go under accus uh, acquisitions, craft supplies that I have gotten in the last week. I bought a couple of things beforehand, um, before last month, just some fabric and um, a ruler for, um, obviously for measuring, but it's a clear ruler and I want to get a uh, like a rotary blade so it'll make it really easy to start cutting straight lines mm, that'd be nice so anyways let's go ahead and get into this art snacks unboxing this is for the month of January I believe maybe here we go Ooh. Wiggly. Ooh. Okay, so yes, for the week for the month of January. So this is the very first 2016 Art Snacks box. And I'm already liking some of the stuff I got. Alright, so happy new year. Here's what's on the menu for January. A fiber castell polymatic mechanical pencil. Retails for $8.49 guessing that's what's in here. Share your unboxing with us at Art Snacks. Hashtag Art Snacks. So, um, I do need to post my November and December Art Snacks. Uh, when I went to my parents, I didn't do anything. And like I said in my 2016 updates, I kind of just chilled out. Ooh, ooh this is a nice pencil. So here it is. It's orange. It is a 7.0. The um, eraser spins. So it is telescopic. That's cool. Lots of eraser to work with. I'm um, going to go ahead and push on it. You can kind of see the nib. I'm so pale, you can almost see the, the light against my skin. Um, so yeah. Pretty cool. Sounds like there's some lead in here. Um, so, kick off the new year with the perfect mechanical pencil. The Fiber Castell Poly Mechanic um, Mechanical Pencil guarantees a comfortable drawing, sketching, and note-taking experience. Its body holds 0.7 millimeter lead and a twist out eraser on the top of the pencil. You can't miss the Polymatic's colorful texture body when searching for the right pencil. This one is a winner. And it's a beautiful bright neon orange. And it's B lead. Let's see if I can get that too. Yes. There you can see it there. Maybe I went this way. All right, Wink of Luna by Zig retails for nine dollars. Okay, so it's not Wink of Stella, it's Wink of Luna. And I really want to get the Wink of Stella ones. So, pretty too. so retails for nine dollars. This is a staff favorite, ladies and gentlemen. The Wink of Luna by Zig has left us in awe at how innovative brush pins can be. Design, uniquely designed to resemble a cosmetic product, the Wink of Luna will make your artwork pop on any paper. You'll fall in love with the metallic finish and soft nylon brush tip. 
To get the ink flowing properly, remove the safety ring from the middle of the pin, then recap, shake the pin to loosen up the ink, then lightly squeeze the white part of the body. Ink will gradually flow through the flexible brush tip. <laughs> and then it has um, a star. Please note, the Wink of Luna is not a cosmetic product and should not be applied to skin. It looks so much better on paper anyways. So, thank you Art Snacks for that little update, especially since you said it's meant to resemble cosmetics. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Um, I see a lot of card makers use very similar products, um, so I'm excited to finally get one to try. So the body looks like one of my Pentel water brush bodies. So it says to take this out. Remove the O-ring, and then twist it back on. All right. Shake the pen to loosen up the ink, and then I'm gonna grab a sticky note here. Use some cheapy little sticky notes, or not. That one, that either. That one. Clearly, I was doing bills on sticky notes. That's funny. Anyways, so shake it, and then lightly squeeze. Get the ink flowing. Oh, there. Got some blurbs. So I kind of got a dot up like a puddle there. Ooh. So when you're using just the brush tip, if you apply a lot of pressure, you'll get a lot of ink. But when you just lightly, you get a really light, and it's really it's kind of a thin color. But it's still really pretty, and that would add a lot of like cool accents. Um, that's exciting. Go ahead and set that aside. Let's see here what's next. The Le Pen Permanent by Marvy. That's the last thing that's in here in the paper. Go ahead and set these. Off on the side. So this is what it looks like. All right. So retails for a dollar fifty. Illustrators, designers, and doodlers unite. We've got an awesome new pen for your imaginative drawings. The Le Pen Permanent by Marvy is made for everything from fine line work on finished drawings to writing on top surfaces. Think plastic and metal objects. This pin will work perfectly alongside the lines created by the Wink of Luna or the Crink K Tech 60. Oh. What is the pin size? Doesn't say what it is, but look how fine that nib is. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. All right, so I'm going to attempt to outline. There we go. So I just outlined this little blurb right here that I made with the wink of Luna. Pretty awesome. And when you really layer that ink on, it really gives you a nice intense blue. So pretty. I'm liking my products this week, this month. And the last one is the Crink K60. Holy cow, this is heavy. All right, retails for $15, $15. And then the 
pencil and the pen were almost ten dollars each. <sighs> I'm gonna total up this price because this box is probably one of the expensive, most expensive boxes I've had thus far. Just saying. All right, so fifteen dollars. Developed by an alternative street artist in San Francisco, the Crinks K60 holds pure paint pigments, a whole and a whole lot of attitude. Hmm. I wonder who else has got a whole lot of attitude. Um, known as the world's quickest growing art supply line, Crink has become a global brand for emphasizing your style, no matter what kind of artist you are. The K60 is Crink's best-selling marker. Due to the iconic drip effect it creates when dragged across a vertical surface, this paint marker is capable of writing on multiple types of materials, rough or smooth, while still providing a thick paint flow. And then their, hash, their hashtag art snacks challenge used all of the products within a um, drawing and then hashtag it art snacks challenge and post it to social media. Um, so I got this green color. Doesn't say what the name is. So I got a little bit of ink there. I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh. Got some on my finger. I don't touch you with it. I'm going to touch you with it. No, I'm not. That'd be rude. And we don't need rude. Do we, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, that dried super quick. So I tried to make a couple of dots, and it dried, like, way quicker than I anticipated. So it's supposed to make a drip effect when it dragged across there and lightly squeeze Ooh. <laughs> kinda help it along Faster than I wanted. Way faster than I wanted. See if I can get some of that ink to go up. <laughs> Had some fun with drips. Ooh, that's really ribbon. Alright, so I'm going to set this down so it doesn't drip all over the place some more. And that is super wet. No real bleed through on the Wink of Luna, but there is a lot of bleed through. Well, not quite a lot, but there is probably going to be some bleed through um, with this crink. And, um, but that's an interesting product. Um, I don't know what to think about it. I don't know what I'll use it for. But, yeah. Um, so that is all of the products. Let's go ahead and make a total of how much this box was. No, not the clock. Calculator. All right, so fifteen dollar plus one fifty plus um eight forty nine plus nine dollar thirty three ninety nine, ladies and gentlemen. That is the most that any of my boxes have ever had. I think right behind it was like 
31 and some change, maybe 29 and some change. Um, but this is definitely the most expensive box, and I paid $20. That's it. $20 once a month. And I got four awesome products. I also got a grape dum dum. Woohoo! And stickers. So I got a slap sticker. And I got the traditional art snacks pretzel pencil. Yes, pretzel pencil sticker. So I think that's all that's going to be for this Whip It Wednesday. I still have that on the mannequin, that top I crocheted. I still haven't sewed in the ends from the arms. I need to, though. That'd be nice. Um, but I haven't. And I don't know when I'm going to get to a project. Maybe soon. I also have another haul that I'm going to be uploading soon, too. Um, that was from previously. Don't know if that's going to be going into this video. Maybe. Maybe not. But if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them into the back because, or leave, leave them into the back. Leave them in the comments section and I will get to them. Um, thank you to all returning subscribers for watching this video. And if you're new, welcome. And um, if you liked this video, then, you know, hit the, up, the uh, thumbs up button and subscribe so you can definitely see more. Until next time, guys. Bye.